Welcome back to AH Accounting and Training Services Certificate in Zero Accounting course. Lesson 2 Understanding and Editing the Zero Dashboard. Zero Dashboard is where you will first land in every time you log in into your Zero account. It acts like a home button or landing page of a website. Every time you log in into your Zero account, it will take you straight to the Zero dashboard. Now let's log in into the Zero account and see how Zero dashboard really works in action. As you can see, after logging into my Zero account, I'm now at the Zero dashboard where I have access to Zero navigation menu bar on the top of the Zero dashboard, as well as I can see the business performance at a glance in actual Zero dashboard screen. Of course, you don't see much in the way of a meaningful Zero dashboard that you would normally see when you have financial data in your Zero account. Instead, all you can see now is a set of tiles that don't make much of a sense right now, and that is because I have just started Zero for the first time and haven't done any setup or entered any data in it. You will have the same screen and the same option, and that's why I want to show you everything in a step-by-step -step and practical manner. To understand the Zero dashboard fully, let's break it down into two sections and then try to understand the various components in each section separately in a bit more detail. To demonstrate this to you with a fully functional Zero dashboard, I'm going to switch to another fully set up Zero account so that you can see and understand everything about Zero Dashboard clearly and practically. Now you can see that these empty tiles is now filled with accounting information and it makes sense. Section 1, the Zero Navigation menu bar. On the top of the Zero Dashboard, you will find the Zero Navigation menu bar with clickable tabs and expandable drop-down menus to access different Zero software feature. This area is called Zero Navigation Menu Bar. It comes with various tabs and expandable drop-down menu. The Zero Navigation menu bar is more or less the same or similar to most computer software packages such as Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or MIOB which you may have already familiarities with. More about Zero Navigation menu bar later. Section 2 of the Zero Dashboard is the Zero Dashboard itself where you will see the business performance at a glance with completely customizable and editable components. This is the actual Zero Dashboard screen. On the right hand side of your Zero Dashboard, you can create watch lists to closely monitor and keep an eye on most important accounts. This is your account watch list and as you can see, I have advertising, entertainment, inventory and sales listed as my account watch list. For you, it might be a different account that are important to you and therefore you might uh, add that as a watch list in here. Everybody uses the account watch list differently, depending on what account is important to them. Staying on the right hand side, you can create new invoices from here. See how many invoices you have created up to the draft status, how many invoices are awaiting for payment, and how many invoices are overdue. 
Down here you can also create or record new bills from your supplier. See how many bills are in draft, how many bills are awaiting for payment, and how many bills are currently overdue. On the left hand side of your zero dashboard, you will see your bank account or bank accounts if you have more than one bank account with the respective balances. Here is the bank account with the balance. Option to connect your zero software with your actual bank account to get transactions straight away from your bank into your zero software if your bank is not connected to your zero software yet. This one is already connected. You will also see the number of reconciled items in your bank account if your bank account is already connected to your zero software. Now you can see that I have 28 items to reconcile. You can have all sorts of bank accounts such as check, saving, credit card, and PayPal accounts and connect them all with your zero software. Finally, you will see your cash flow graph showing the coming in and going out of money for every month. It's a great tool to keep your pulse on the cash flow of the business you are managing the account for. Cash flow management is very important for any business and it's the cash flow that makes or breaks a business. It's called the blood of the business. Here you can see the cash flow graph shows the total cash in and cash out from July to December. The blue one indicates the cash coming in and the gray one shows that the cash is going out. All of these zero dashboard components I have shown you here so far are completely customizable and editable and you can completely arrange and rearrange your zero dashboard the way you prefer and of course according to your own business needs. Let's now learn how to customize or edit zero dashboard. You can arrange these items or these options according to your preference and that's what I'm going to show you next how to do that. To edit your zero dashboard simply click on the edit button located at the bottom of your zero dashboard screen. Here is the edit dashboard button. Once you are in the editing window, you will have two simple options to edit and customize your zero dashboard according to your preference and business need. Option one is drag and drop. With the drag and drop option, you can simply drag and drop dashboard components from one place to another and put them where you want them to be. For example, if you want to move your cash flow graph from left hand side to the right hand side, just simply drag and drop like this and then click save changes to save your customization or changes you have just made. So I want to move my cash flow graph from the left hand side into the right hand side of my zero dashboard by simply dragging and dropping where I want to put. Once I moved my cash flow graph from one place to another and I'm happy that this is where I want, I want it to be, then I simply click save changes. And now if I go to my zero dashboard you can see that my cash flow graph is moved from the left hand side into the right hand side. You can do the drag and drop editing option with any of these options. You can use the drag and drop option for any of your zero dashboard components or option to completely customize your zero dashboard. I just used the cash flow graph as an example here. The second editing and customization options in your zero dashboard is show and hide option. Back to the editing zero dashboard. The show and hide option simply allow you to either show or hide option in your zero dashboard. 
For example, if I want to hide any of the zero dashboard option, I simply need to click on the hide option for any option I want to remove or hide in from my zero dashboard. Let's hide the cash flow graph from the zero dashboard to see how it really works in action. Here's my cash flow graph. If I want to hide, I simply click on the hide button once and then click save changes. And when I go to my zero dashboard, it has disappeared from my zero dashboard. That's how you hide an item from your zero dashboard. If I want to show the cash flow graph again on my zero dashboard, then I simply go to the edit dashboard option and this time I click on the show option to restore the cash flow graph back into my zero dashboard. Now you can see I have my cash flow graph back in my zero dashboard. You can use the hide and show option for all of your zero dashboard option to either hide or show them. Once again, I just used the cash flow graph as an example for demonstration purposes. To summarize my discussion about customizing or editing your zero dashboard, you can simply use the drag and drop editing option to move around or rearrange the components or item options in your zero dashboard and use the show or hide editing options to either show or hide item option in your zero dashboard. Now that you know a bit more about zero dashboard and learn how to customize your zero dashboard in this lesson, I will cover the zero dashboard navigation menu bar in the next lesson.